Hey everybody, this is Julian and my grandma Janet. Hi. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to Propagating from my collection, Succulent Edition. So in today's video, I wanted to go ahead and share with you how I'm going to propagate from my collections from a handful of succulents that I've been wanting to fix up. So succulent propagation is very easy. There's multiple ways to do it. You can do it with dirt, without dirt, and using water instead. So I'm gonna share with you the simple ways on how you can propagate, which are all by accident for me because I don't really like to propagate my succulents. I have so many plants that I try to not touch the babies unless there's accidents and fall offs. When I go ahead and I touch and move them, then they're gonna naturally end up propagating on itself. For instance, you can go ahead and grab any type of succulent that has big petals. And if you wanted more babies or for whatever reason the plant isn't doing well and you wanted to just go ahead and fix it up, you can take all the petals off, lay it down to a callus over like on a cardboard or on a tabletop. And then once it's calloused over, the ends are calloused over and I'll show you what a calloused end looks like. So calloused end. You can go ahead and lay it down on dirt and then eventually they'll start showing signs of roots as well as growth. So I just wanted to share with you just my fallout babies. And what I do, because my collection is so big, and I mean, it'll come in different sizes just depending on how big your succulent is. Here's um, a few fallouts from my other succulents that I'm just laying back into the planter that the mother plant is in just to kind of keep my space of my plant propagation to a minimum because I have so many plants I just lay the babies right back down on the mother plants planter on the soil section and then they'll just propagate there and then maybe in time they'll just fill up the planter so I just wanted to share with you what you can do if you really want to maximize your dollar when you buy a plant or if the plant is not doing good just take all the petals off if they have petals this is probably going to be your easiest way to propagate and make the most babies out of one plant or you can go ahead and just take different sections and cuttings off of a plant and I'm going to share with you two that are accidents just from falling off of the mother plant so you can get a succulent that is on the tall side and just take different cuttings from it and then eventually it'll just root up so this one has been rooting up in water for quite some time so this is going to be ready to plant up in my next planting with Julian with propagation babies. And then this was another fallout from another baby that I touched in another video. And again, you can just go ahead and stick the end in water and it'll eventually give you water roots. So these two were recent cuttings that I've put in water. So that's another way on how you can go ahead and propagate from your collection. Now. Let's talk about what we're gonna do today and why I wanna go ahead and propagate. So this is my beautiful string of bananas and I talked about this when I last brought up my string of bananas in my video on the channel. And I said the next time I do a propagation video from my collection, we're gonna work on the string of bananas because as you can see, it is so long and if you look at the top part of the planter, it's not full. So I wanna go ahead and fix that. So taking cuttings from your own collection give cuttings to friends or you can make more cuttings to fix up your mother plant so that's what we're gonna do today so grandma let's untangle the ends here so we can see and I'm willing to take a lot from the plant the mother plant just so I can fix it up this is gonna go right back into the planter so when I'm looking at the ends I am looking at the aerial roots. So senecios are very easy propagators. And you'll see, I'll, I'll share with you guys the process of how I propagate from my collection. So what am I looking for? I'm looking for aerial roots from every single strand. And we're gonna take from every single one and fix this plant up. So this is gonna be a very fun project. I actually didn't think I would be doing this one day to my string of bananas because I think I had a, another string of bananas mm -hmm. and it was nice and full oh. and then it died. It was living in my house. So now I know Sunicio's uh, succulents, all my succulents now live 
in my patio so let me share one good example where the camera can maybe pick it up so if you look on each strand you'll see aerial roots it's very small and tiny but there's little aerial roots here grandma you can spot them right mm -hmm. so little aerial roots and now we're gonna go through each plant and we're going to cut right under the area root so let's start from one end and work our way so for this one let's cut it right under here so grandma's untangling the baby Okay, so let's go ahead and look here. Okay, this is a really good one. So there's one nice aerial root here. And there's multiple aerial roots. If I really wanted to maximize this plant, I could make several cuttings off of this one, but I'm not gonna do that. So here's the propagation scissors. Let's cut right underneath the aerial root. So here you can see there's area roots on this cutting. This is going to be very easy. Let's lay this on the side. And then let's get the next one. So we're going to move that on the side. And get our next, our next strand here. Here. All right. So this is a good one here. Cut right under the area root. Perfect. Moving on. Yeah, this one. Yep. Right under the area root. Got it. Okay, let's see how fast we can go through this plant. Okay, another one. Okay. Okay. Ooh, we got some good cuttings, Grandma, already. Let me see. Hold on, hold on, because we're going to go through each one. Oh, what's going on here? And you got to be really, like, light hand. You got to have a light hand with the Senecios, because if not, they're going to start falling apart. Okay. Here we go. Take from this, Grandma. Right under here. Okay, that's one. I can't believe I'm doing a fix-up. That means it's doing really good. From under here, I think. Under. Yeah, okay. Never thought this day would be coming. Right there. Perfect. Oh, this one splits off. Right under here. like a lot yeah right there. you can really spot the area roots really easy when you look carefully and it's interesting there's a bunch of them that split off in a Y mm -hmm. so I would like to try to keep that mm -hmm. so right under this is a good piece take a look at this nice area root here and then it like, spits off in a Y Okay, let's see what else we're working with. Not oh, here. I'm just looking at the ends. If they have a cut end, that means I went through that. I think we're almost done. Yay! Here. 
here. Okay, just go here. Okay. And here. So that was another Y, but we just split it off in two. That's fine. Maybe here. Kind of trying to keep them yeah. all the same length. Yep. Almost done. Getting its hair cut, Grandma. <laughs> Nicely trimmed. Yeah, right there. What's going on in Santa Monica? Never a dull moment. Uh, maybe over right here. Yeah, perfect. Oh my goodness, is this the last one? Yep. Right there. Okay, let's do a quick little check. Did I get all of them, Grandma? Let's lift it up. Yeah. We can do a quick untangle and see what the condition of the plant looks like. I think we did good. We got a lot of cuttings. Wow, this is like the most impressive strand right here. I want to share this really this quickly. Look, look at this. One. I know, there's two. Yeah. That just splits off like in multiples. Look at this. Kind of reminds me of my Hindu rope. Compacta. This is one strand right here. Look at this. This is coming off of one strand. Oh my goodness. Okay. So here it is. I think that's fine. Look at look at the amount that we cut. This yeah, is good. Okay. Alright, so let's put this away. Grandma, you want to get now all of the ends? Let's see if we can use our upcycled snapple bottle. If not, we're gonna have to maybe drape them over in like a like a ball setup. But maybe we can just have all the ends stick in the bottle and, and call it a day. Ooh, I can't wait for part two of propagating <laughs> cuttings and planting them up. That's like also another fun part for me is seeing them grow roots and be able to plant them up into soil or in a different kind of medium. And those are our doubles. Oh wow, we did really good. I feel okay. This is the first time I'm ever trimming a succulent to fix it up. This is very exciting. <laughs> These are longer. That my plant is actually doing good, I can actually fix it. I would like to do that for all of my plants if they need a fix up. Trim them up and fill up the planter. But of course, once the plant is lush and long. So grandma, you're, um, how are you se separating? Are you gonna make two or one? Two because these are Okay, them. all right. So grandma wants two bottles. Okay, so we have our upcycled water bottle, our upcycled water vessel here. I think we should get more water. <laughs> that sure. might be good. That might be good. Yep, all the ends are in water. That's fine. Okay. So here you go. My favorite grocery store drink is the Snapple peach iced tea. So we have a lot of the glass bottles and I use them all for propagation. I even have boxes of empty glass Snapple bottles. <laughs> Yay! Perfect. So here it is. We have our string of banana cuttings. I'm going to set this on the side. Now let's get our next baby. Here is a sedum that I got from Reseda. 
with Catherine. I want to consider it a rescue because it really like needed to be rescued. As you can see, there's some characteristic here happening in the plant. And of course I could leave it for sure. I could. Um, but I want to fix it up um, to also show you that you can also fix up sedum. So grandma, there's lots of area roots here already. Why don't we just cut it here. under? Yep, perfect. And then this, just trim it so it's not sticking out. Good. Can you cut here? No. Why not? This root. You want to fix that yeah. one up too? Okay, Grandma want to make two cuttings. All right, so we could either A, stick the ends in water, but it might not fit because of the type of cutting it is. So let's move the mother plant on the side. Um, or we can get the Lekka balls, which is also another fun way for me to house the cuttings. And then just make room for them and just stick them underneath there. Mm -hmm. Yep, perfect. And then add that one in. <laughs> Isn't it so cute? I can either keep these cuttings and put it back into the planter or I can put it in a whole new planter, give it as a gift or a train. But it, I felt like it needed to get fixed up a little bit. Also, there was one section of the plant that I don't know what happened, but I'm just gonna let it sit in here and It'll end up growing roots and propagating itself. I do see yeah. some roots. So here is another way on how to propagate with Lekka balls. It'll help you to have the plant cutting stand up. And there is already a lot of area roots on here. So I'm just going to keep it in here for time being. And once it gets water roots, I'll stick it back in this planter if I wanted to, to fill it up. Or make a whole new plant. And it can also even live in the greenhouse once that happens. All right. I can't believe we're doing this. But well, we're going to propagate from one of my string of dolphins. I do have another one right here behind me. But I like the way how it's looking. So I'm not going to touch it. The reason why I want to propagate from this one is I see there's uh, some something that happened to one of the cuttings here. And I just took it off because it was literally hanging by its last thread but I want to propagate this it's cutting cool, right? um, there's another cutting yeah. that fell off when I went to grab the plant so I try to not touch the plant so much because Senecios can be sometimes a little fragile yeah, while okay. handling no. so I'm just kind of going through the plant because I love this plant and I love the fullness of it but again we can also take from here, Grandma, because you see the way how the plant is growing and it's like not doing that good right there. Mm -hmm. So let's cut it because it's gonna it's gonna die if not. Here. Yep. See? A lot of aerial roots. So I'm just looking at the condition of the plant. If I'm trying to save a section, I'm just gonna cut from it. I think I see another one too. I don't know what happened my string of dolphins so if you look here in this section right here look cut yeah. there yeah so I'm just fixing up the plant to save the cuttings that weren't doing good I think I think that's good yeah I think the rest is good so let's thank the mother plant for giving us cuttings. Here's what it looks like now. Here's another one. So neat, yeah, they look like dolphins. String of dolphins, <laughs> yeah. All right, now grandma, would you like to put it in a propagation bottle or would you like to put it in liquor balls? No, propagation. Okay. So we got a bunch of cuttings here. Wow, this one get root? Yep. I can make a whole new plant and the Senecios, they propagate very easy. The one that I gave Catherine from this mother plant um, as a thank you, 
she put it in water and like right away roots shoot off and she planted it up so I'm really excited to have a whole nother string of dolphins again these ones weren't really doing good just from being damaged when I'm like transporting it from one place to another in my collection but here you go here's all of my string of dolphin cuttings here now the last Senecio that I would like to touch in today's video is my string of hooks I just want to give it a few trim up and I'm propagating this plant because of the future who knows I might want to give some in the future to friends over the holidays which I can start now I can start propagating for the holidays now it's July that gives me about five months or so to grow new plants mm -hmm. for gifts. You, Evie would you like to come sit by your mommy Abby's joining the propagation party. Okay, this is my very big string of hooks. I'm not gonna lift it up because it's very big. You guys seen it on my channel if you keep up. Very long and full string of hooks. And if you keep up with my channel, you know this thing is very long. So I am propagating from this because I want to maybe share it for Christmas presents. And I want to start now propagating in the summer so it has time to grow for the rest of the year. I already gave Carrie and Tanya, my plant friends, cuttings from this Senecio. So if you look up close, again, Senecios, very easy to spot the area root here. And we're just going to make cuts. So I think we should maybe cut it right here. Mm -hmm right under this section that's actually a really nice cutting yep perfect we'll just take a few here. this is actually a nice a nice gift yeah, here okay. yep so here's another good cutting look at that i mean it's telling you propagate me right here <laughs> perfect Look at that. So this is a very good cutting. I love that. Okay. Yep, there's another one. Just go through the plant, make more babies for gifts. Here's another one. Perfect. Grandma, you're a pro already. Yeah, right. How, how do you like propagating from the mother plants? As long as I'm doing correct. Yeah, you're doing a great job. Here. Here? Yep. Let's do a few more. Here. Yep. That's fine. This is a good one. Look at that. Spits off in a Y. Here. This one. Sure. Yep, right Here. under. Yep. Perfect. Here's another one. Look. Here's another one. Wow, a lot. Right here. Up, up. Perfect. Here. Yep. Right here. under. Mm hmm. I think maybe we'll do. Let me lift up the plant and see what the condition of the plant is. Okay. Maybe turn it. Oh, okay. Let it have a seat here. And here. Yeah. Yep. Here's another one. Here. Actually, this is actually a nice Christmas present. Yeah. We'll do one more here. Here? Yep. Perfect. How does the plant look? I didn't take too much from it. I, I love the length of the plant. Like, I really don't want to take that away from the plant. Because it does have the wow factor when I walk into my space. So, I don't want to take too much from it. But again, maybe one more right here. Okay. I think we're good. What do you think? These are all the cuttings we got, Grandma. What do you think? Perfect. Okay. Let me put the mother plant away while you 
take over the channel <laughs> and gather up the cuttings. There you go. See you in a second. We'll experiment because that has fertilizer in it. Which one grows roots faster? I've never propagated with fertilized water. So let's see. Yep. So I just like to have the ends right in the water. This can make maybe two or three plants. Nice so gifts. Here are the string of hook cuttings. We did really good. Now there's one plant that I would like to do <laughs> for the last part of today's video because it needs help. This is my Kalinkoi that needs help. So we're going to give it back its life. So as you can see here, grandma's like ready to cut it. Let me let me show and tell. Let me show and tell. So as you can see here, I don't know what happened. It's just it's it's not happy. Okay. So I am going to save it. Mm. I want to make three 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 cuttings. So let's go ahead and take from here and let's cut it right here. So that's one one cutting another one here actually like below the area root yeah because there's a big area root there and then here you can cut that part off right there grandma that's fine you so? yep all right <laughs> better this then you need to clip this too no we're 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 dumping this thing Oh yeah, some more. Leave them under there. They'll grow back. You think it doesn't? It will. The succulents? Yes. Yeah, it does. Pull it back. Okay, what we'll do because <laughs> grandma thinks this is going to grow succulents. Maybe. I'm not sure. Maybe. It will. Uh we'll put this in a nursery planter for grandma. <laughs> move it into the greenhouse and uh, <laughs> grandma will keep the channel posted if uh, new babies come up from that. So that was because it really needed to be fixed up. Yeah. All right. Wow, finally. And there's mm -hmm. another one too, the real big one over there. Where? The corner. The... Yeah, we'll save that for a whole separate video because <laughs> that one is struggling. Yeah, um, yeah. So here is what we ended up with. Let's let's bring it out. What we got here. So these two were from mistakes. So we'll leave this on the side. <laughs> from accidentally falling off the mother plant. That is why I try to not touch the babies because fallouts will happen. So of course I, I don't want to propagate for my succulent collection unless I'm trying to make more babies for future gifts then fine um, but other than that I love the fullness of my succulents so I'm not trying to propagate from them and it's not like I have a few plants and I'm dying to make more I have hundreds of plants so this is just to share with you how you can propagate from your collection and make more babies or propagate them because they're looking sad and need a fix up so here we have multiple things happening we have my kalinkoi that needed to be fixed up we have the string of hooks and the string of dolphins and the string of bananas again senecios are super easy to propagate and if anything right now where my collection is at that's probably the only thing i would propagate from is my senecios i do have my 
trailing jade that maybe one day I, I will take from but I, I love the fullness of it. I did give Tanya a cutting from that plant but other than that, I'm still waiting for it to trail longer me so I don't want to touch the plant. But I wanted to share with you what it's like to take from succulent babies. Again, if you want to go old school and make the most out of your succulent babies that has petals, you can go ahead and take them all apart and lay them onto dirt. You can even throw the ends of the succulent petals in water and it'll give you water roots. Or you can just lay them on the dirt. Just a little plant inspo. We also have the Senecio cuttings that we went ahead and fixed up in today's video. And it's just in the Lekka Boss system. So I wanted to go ahead and do that for the plant just to fix it up. I know sometimes like the trailing weird growth I love that and, and like that makes the plant special and have its certain character but I figured I wanted to show you what it's like to fix up plants so grandma thank you so much for being today's helper how was it to propagate from the collection well I think it was fun because it's so easy just clip 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 <laughs> and also too one of these cuttings you could make multiple cuttings because if you look really good on the senecios you can see so many arrow roots on one cutting so if you really one. wanted you could make multiple cuttings off of the one cutting that i have in the bottle but i think it's fine we did so much today so i hope you guys enjoyed seeing a planting with julian propagating from my collection succulent edition again senecios are the easiest to propagate as far as for putting it into water vessels and if you really wanted to you can go ahead and take all the petals off like off of your echeveria or sedums and get more but where i'm at in my collection this is like the most i would do for propagating from succulents a fix up and then making more babies uh, for upcoming gifts so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video seeing my grandma and i in the patio and space if you guys are new welcome to the channel hit the bell and subscribe button to be notified on my daily upload before we wrap up today's video i want to do another plant friend shout out today's plant friend shout out is going to super chic chic <laughs> <laughs> wow hi grandma janet seriously how do you do it all most importantly with a smile, kudos to you and all the women that support you, girl. <laughs> Thank you so much for supporting the channel. I hope you guys enjoy seeing my grandma on the channel helping me propagate for today's video. If you are propagating in your collection any succulents, sound off down below. What are you propagating? I would love to know. So let me know down in the comments below if you would like to see me propagate more from the collection. I don't know about propagating from my cactus babies. I might propagate maybe rip salis if anything, but for the most part all of my babies living in the front of my home i don't want to touch them and make more babies i just love the way how they look so maybe in the next propagating videos i might take from my rip saluses maybe mm. but right now i kind of love the fullness and quirkiness of how they're growing but i hope you guys enjoyed today's video Stay tune in the future for planting with julin when these babies and a bunch of babies from my propagation station roots up we're gonna do a planting video featuring all of the cuttings so i hope you guys enjoyed this video you can find more on my blog at ilovejulian.blogspot.com until next time aloha from santa monica california <laughs> bye, bye.